Hi everyone, my name's Mary. Welcome back to my channel, Mama Bear Prepper. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining us. Please go ahead and feel free to hit the subscribe button and turn on your bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And if you are a returning subscriber, I appreciate you so much for sticking around. All right, you guys, so I have a Walmart haul here and also I have a couple things from Dollar Tree, Big Lots, Amazon, and I have two tiny little hauls from when I was in Tennessee I just threw in here on the table okay so let's go ahead and get started um the first thing I want to show you is my beef jerky <laughs> all right y'all so the first place I went to is this was from Tennessee this jerky okay and it was from a place called I think it's called the beef jerky experience it's a store full of beef jerky <laughs> it was awesome y'all I love to sink my teeth into some meat I love some beef jerky okay so I got let's see how many two four five different kinds that you just you cannot find in Walmart or any other store at least around here you can't okay so I got pork and buffalo a pork and buffalo stick venison hickory smoked venison um, I had deer meat before oh deer meat is really good uh, this is a Chipotle elk, and this one is a Chipotle bison, and this is pork and venison. Y'all, I can't wait to try this right here. Ooh, I can't wait to try that. Okay, so that's one place from Tennessee. I have another one coming up back there when I get to it. Y'all, I have a coffee right here because I talk a lot, and my throat gets really dry, so I have my coffee right here. All right, from Walmart. I got the Mayacoba beans, navy beans, love some navy beans. Um, I bought a case of the green beans. Is this all green beans? Yeah, a case of green beans. That's four, eight, 12 cans of green beans. And um, they're like 50 cents each. And I just grabbed the little uh, case that was empty. I stole this off the shelf from the Del Monte ones. Okay, so I got a case of green beans. Can never have enough green beans around here, y'all. My daughter will just open one up and heat it on the stove with some cauliflower rice for like a, a snack or a lunch or dinner because she loves green beans. More of this sun-dried tomato and basil bumblebee tunas. Y'all, these are awesome because it has a tiny little spoon right here. If you can see it, they come with a little spoon that's really awesome to put in your, you know, any kind of bag, your hiking bag, your get home bag. Um, bug out bag, whatever. Uh, let's see. And this is Best Buy November 2022. And y'all, it has a good source of protein. One pouch is 13 grams of protein. I got three of this. This is the roasted garlic and herb wild caught tuna. And this, you know, Best Buy January 2023. 16 grams. Oh, y'all, this one has 16 grams of protein. Okay. I wonder. Huh. I wonder why this one has more protein than that one. Um, okay, so I got that. I got some unsweetened applesauce, some of the applesauce in the pouches. Y'all, my daughter's 10 years old, but she still likes this, like, baby kind of applesauce. Um, it's, you know, it's a good-to-go and grab type of snack. All right, so we got that. Diet. I don't know why I'm saying diet. Okay, so we got that. Um, Y'all, sometimes these accents, they just come out of me. I don't know where they come from. Okay. <laughs> um... I got these Quaker grits. I love me some grits. So I'm going to put that in my prepper pantry. Another thing, a Peter Pan peanut butter, my favorite brand of peanut butter. Thousand Island, y'all, so good. Ken Steakhouse Thousand Island is like the, my favorite Thousand Island ever. <laughs> um, I got a small thing, a little vitamin C here, 500 milligrams. I'm gonna have my daughter start taking this every morning. Oh, and by the way, she just tested positive for COVID. My mom, her grandma is positive with COVID. And now she is. So I'm sure I am next. And y'all, I can kind of feel it in my throat. And I was feeling a little tired just as when I got home. Uh, yeah, so I'm coming down with something. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be positive that I'm going to catch COVID too. Okay, also we got some Bear Creek soups here. I got a chicken noodle, you know, a chicken flavored one. A creamy chicken pasta mix. That looks really good. Creamy cheddar pasta mix. Okay, I got some mashed potatoes, the creamy butter, roasted garlic, and sweet potato. Y'all, I love me some sweet potato mashed potatoes like this. Talk about good. I never tried 
this kind. I usually get it into like in restaurants, <laughs> um, but I want to make my own. I've seen that they had this, so hey, I'm interested. I'm gonna try it. I love me some sweet potatoes um, mashed. All right, I got a thing of Idaho spuds. Um, this is the plain kind with no butter, so it won't go rancid when I pack it into some Mylar bags. Right over here is from Dollar Tree, just some styrofoam cups because I hate doing dishes. I don't have a dishwasher, and those dishes pile up quick. So I'm always using styrofoam cups, plastic cups, paper plates, paper bowls, whatever will make my life easier. I'm doing it. All right, so those I can just never, ever get enough of. I bought a little additional small containers for when I do my freezer meals. Just Okay, so I also bought some coffee. Uh, the Green Mountain... I don't know if I ever tried that one before, but those are the for my Kareg. That's decaf. I mostly drink decaf. This one is um, brew over ice vanilla caramel. Looked interesting. I wanted to try it, so I grabbed it. And then, of course, my good old fashioned community breakfast blend medium roast coffee. I bought a sugar free syrup, a stack attack snack, uh, some Pringles. Well, Walmart brand of Pringles my daughter threw in. The basket and also y'all pioneer woman has her own marinara sauce and um pasta sauce so i grabbed one of each to try and i just love the lids on that so whenever i do use that up i'm going to wash those jars and clean them out really good and i'm just going to reuse the jars for something else um they can be used for a number of things so i'm going to save them because the lids look how cute the lids are oh my gosh so cute anyways okay Alright, so I got some of the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Cinnamon Dust. I've never seen this before. I figured we would give it a try. Um, some of this Chicken of the Sea Chub Mackerel and Brine. You know, I've never tried this before, but um, I'm going to end up doing a taste test type of review. Um, SHTF Cook With Me type of video, and we're going to try this in a video sometime in the future, whenever I have time. <laughs> I have so many videos i got to make for y'all that I keep telling y'all about. It's just I have so many ideas, but... Y'all, it's a lack of time. Okay, I got two more. Oh, oh, my coffee. I am always buying Alaskan pink salmon in a can. At least one or two with every trip. Great source of protein, like I said in my other video, y'all. Uh, five servings per container. Serving size is three ounces. And the protein is 17 grams. That is really good protein in a can. Good protein, y'all. Excellent. Okay, this came from Amazon right here. I've seen in Ashley and Amy's... Uh, Martin Midlife Misadventures video. Y'all, if y'all don't watch them, go watch them. I <laughs> love them. They're so fun to watch. I love to watch their hauls. And, you know, when they make stuff like this and open it and try it. They had the B&M, yeah, wait, Brook Oven B&M, b and they had the Brook Oven B&M baked brown bread with raisins in it. They opened that up. She cooked it on, um, over the stove. And y'all, oh my God, it looks so good looked so good and they said it smelled amazing so I've been wanting to get this I finally ordered one um it came in a two-pack I'll put a link down below in my description if y'all want to check that out I'll put a link down below and this was like the cheapest this was like the cheapest deal I could find online on Amazon it was like a two-pack for like ten dollars that was like the best deal I could find on it so I'll link that down in the description below if you guys want to check it out but this was a two-pack for, I think, about $10. I'll, like I said, I'll link it down in the description if y'all want to go read about this and check it out. It's bread in a can. How cool is that? And they said it tastes good. I've seen other people's reviews, and they said it tastes good as well. So I'm going to do a video myself on this sometime in the future. I don't know when, but I will be opening up one of these, cooking it like how Ashley and Amy did. It just looks so good. I'm like, oh, I need to try this. Okay. Also, so that's from Amazon. About to tip my coffee over here. Let, let me put it over there. Amazon. Okay, and this and these couple of items came from Big Lots. Okay, um, Bear Creek Darn Good Chili, 370 at Big Lots. Some sea salt. Oh, they don't have a price on here. Okay, well I got this sea salt from Big Lots, and the traditional German salad from Big Lots um, for three dollars. I want to try that. And some of the Ghirardelli double chocolate brownies for $2.50. That came from Big Lots, okay? That was from another store in Tennessee. I'll get to that in a little bit. Let me hurry and finish Walmart. From Walmart, I picked up some of the stuffing mix. 
I love, love, love some stuffing mix, y'all. Sometimes I'll just fix it and eat that because I just, I love it so much. So I got one cornbread and three turkeys. I decided to grab three turkeys from a pepper pantry because with the holidays coming up, they're going to sell out quickly. I bought two of the Hunt's Fire Roasted Diced Garlic Tomatoes. Y'all, these are so good, especially for chicken tortilla soup. Delicious, okay? Um, I also picked up these fruit and green cereal bars. These are really good. This my daughter threw in the basket, some easy mug cakes, a brownie kind, an easy brownie mug cake. Those are really good. Um, I bought some Alfredo sauce. This is my favorite kind of Alfredo sauce for my shrimp and broccoli Alfredo. I cook with that. I bought a Bertoli. I bought a Bertoli rustic cut marinara sauce, vegetable oil, olive oil. I cook mostly with olive oil. Um, I bought a thing of Comet disinfecting wipes and the steel wool soap pads. These are awesome to, you know, scrub those stuck on messes on your dishes and pots and pans and even clean your stove and microwave with these are really really good okay this came from we stopped at some store in tennessee food city i really wanted to check out like a publix or a kroger but i just we didn't pass by one when we seen this one first so this is from food city i really wanted to find some honey that was you know from tennessee I had no luck, you guys. I know you're supposed to eat honey that's local to you, you know, for health benefits, you know, with your, to help with your allergies, but I wanted some Tennessee honey. This is the closest thing I could find. It's a dark wildflower honey. Nothing added, raw and unpasteurized. And it says it's from Strange Honey Farm in Del Rio, Tennessee. And then I wanted some Tennessee barbecue sauce because this we cannot find over here by me in Louisiana. Um, I don't know if any of these are good, but I just wanted to come home with some barbecue sauces from Tennessee. <laughs> so I bought this one right here called Puckett's Original Barbecue Sauce, Memphis, Memphis Style Sweet, No Heat, um, Bonnie Jr.'s House of Barbecue, Sticky Fingers Memphis Original, and Sticky Fingers Carolina Classic. So those I really wanted to bring home and try. Maybe bake some chicken or barbecue some chicken and try it with that. All right, y'all, so that does it for my haul. Whew, I am definitely out of breath. I need a sip of my coffee. Mm. Oh, that's why I'm hot. I don't have the AC on. I need to turn the AC on. <laughs> I just got home. I need to turn the AC on and put this away. I'm going to clear this off of here. I'm just, you know, trying to get what I can, stock up a little bit. Y'all, it's always good to prepare. I am not, in no way, shape, or form, wiping out the shelves, okay? I get like a couple extra items while it's still on the shelf. You know, plenty left over for other people to get. So like I said, I'm not clearing the shelves off though. I am getting what we eat, what we rotate through. And I just buy a couple of extras every grocery store trip, okay? As long as I can. And while there's something on the shelves, like these three things of turkey, y'all, there was a whole bunch left. That's why I took what I wanted, okay? <laughs> Y'all, sometimes it's just a hit or miss of what they might have or not have in stock, okay? So that's why I do this because when they're not going to have it and I need it, at least I'll have one I can grab from my prepper pantry and use that until I have to get some more. Keep prepping. Do what you can little by little, week by week, whatever your budget allows, whatever you can figure out with your budget, do it. Because <laughs> I don't know if you've seen my previous videos of the store shelves. Um, Y'all, no matter what the reason is, whether if they really cannot... Um, produce the product if there's like manufacturing issues or you know with all the crop losses that has happened uh, numerous things okay or rather if it's um, they can't get enough truckers to truck the products to each store or if there's not enough employees to stock the shelves okay whatever the reason is regardless it's it, the shelves are bare there's nothing on the shelves it's a shortage one way or another however what reason you want to look at it it's causing a shortage on the shelves okay i can't tell you the exact reason i can guess i gave you my couple of guesses there but regardless it's causing a shortage on the shelves and y'all it's been like that for several 
several weeks now, okay? It does not look like it's getting better. Sometimes I go in, I'm like, oh, well, last time this one was empty. Now they have a few more sugars on here. You know, they're getting something in. It looks like it might be getting, but guess what? Nope. I go back, it's all gone. And it's just not being replaced and kept on the shelves like it used to be, okay? All right, so go ahead and prep. Do what you can for your family. You do not want to send your kids to bed hungry at night. Um, you don't want to have to put yourself in bad situations looking for food when you could have been prepped this whole time, okay? Um, just do it. <laughs> just do it. All right, all right, y'all. And really quick before I put this away, um, I just want to show you guys label your canned goods, label your packages of food, um, put the best by date on it, even though with some things like the green beans, it could go very well past uh, December 2024. Still label it, still rotate through it. You want to rotate through your preps no matter what. Um, just keep a good rotation of it. That's why I label everything. Look, I put it on the top and I put it on the front. <laughs> um, on the front and on the top. Best by date, best by date, and all of it right here. All of these, all of these, all that. Right here, I put it. Um, on here, I put it. On my marinara sauce, uh, Alfredo, all of it. Put it on all of it, okay? So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm working on it with my permanent marker, and I just wanted to quickly throw this in here. Because this is something that you don't see me do at the end of every haul. Is I just sit down right here. I drink my coffee. Got my coffee. I drink my coffee. And I label everything. <laughs> uh, it's just, you know, I'm in the habit of doing it. So, you know, I'm in the habit of doing it. It does not bother me. I like to sit here, label my stuff. And then I'm going to go put it away in both locations. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Have a good night.